Good afternoon, beloved. I trust you're being blessed real good and enjoying the favor uh, of, our, of our great and awesome Father, uh, of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I, I want to do something special uh, today for, uh, with the community that, um, that, that blesses me uh, by, by just stopping by my channel and and um, praying for me and 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 uh, having uh, giving the time to hear my heart as to what I believe the father wants to say to his children during these times and um, today I want to I want to invite you to to share in in, in in communion I'm talking about the night of the rooster and I want to subtitle this, Galilee Comes After the Night. Galilee Comes After the Night. But it was during this night, in Matthew the 26th chapter, while they were eating, uh, Jesus took some bread. So uh, why don't you just pause this, this um, uh, pause the video if you so feel led to and get some bread and get some uh, some fruit of the vine and and uh, and share in this and experience this this moment in time uh, with with me and other brothers and sisters in Christ while they were eating Jesus took some bread and after blessing he broke it and gave it to the disciples and said take eat uh, this is my body Lord, we thank you for this bread, which does represent to us your body, the body that was pierced, the body that was nailed to Calvary's cross, and the body that was pierced in the side, and out came blood and water, the blood that was the purchase price, the blood that we have been washed in. And we thank you, Father, that you have added us to the body of Christ. And when he had taken a cup and given thanks, Lord, when I look at this cup and I am reminded that this is called the blood of the grape, that it is by your stripes that we have been healed. And it was not the blood of bulls and goats that purchased us, but the blood of a lamb without spot, without blemish. Your precious blood purchased us before the foundation of the world. And we want to say thank you uh, for doing that. He gave it to all of them and he's saying, drink from it, all of you. For this is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for forgiveness of sins. But I say to you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. And then Jesus said to them, you will all fall away because of me this night. For it is written, I will strike down the shepherd and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered. This is not a night that you're going to be able to look back on and say, look what a great hero I was. Look what a great champion I was. Look what uh, a, a great uh, supporter of Yeshua I was. No, no, not in this night. So you're going to have to remember this, but after, but, but, 
But no matter what, no matter whatever else happens during this night, and it's going to be a long, dark, harrowing night. But after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. We've got to remember, Galilee comes after the night. All of us are living through this night period. This is the long night of our captivity is to, in, in this flesh is about to end. And we're about to be transformed and be about to be uh, made like unto his glorious image. But we've got to make it through this night. And I want to show you how Jesus encouraged them during the night of the rooster. By telling them the night was not the end of the story. He says, I got a meeting with you already planned in Galilee. You don't have to be heroes. You don't, you don't have to do anything extraordinary. I got you in this night. And I'm going to go before you to Galilee. This word, go before, in the Greek means to proceed in place or time, to bring forth or go before you. They, they should have remembered the incident when one stormy night, after Jesus had told them before they got into the boat let us go unto let us go to the other side simply already saying i declare the end from the beginning the end is not in the middle of the lake the end is not in the middle of the storm the end is on the other side but the storm came and they woke jesus up and jesus had to remind them i'm the god of the storm i'm the god of the night you're okay during this storm, this stormy night, because I can speak to the, to the winds and they still obey me. In Luke, the 22nd chapter, Luke 22 and verse 47, during this same night, the Bible says, while he was still speaking, behold, a multitude came and the one called Judas, one of the 12 was preceding them and he approached Jesus to kiss him. But Jesus said to him, Judas, are you betraying the son of man with a kiss? And when those who were around him saw what was going to happen, they said, Lord, shall we strike with the sword? And a certain one of them struck the slave of the high priest and cut off his right ear. We know from another gospel that was, that was Peter. But Jesus answered and said, stop, no more of this. And he touched his ear and healed him. And, and Jesus said to the chief priests and officers of the temple and elders who had come against him, have you come out with swords and clubs as against a robber? You know, it's amazing that the worst of the worst come out in the darkness, in the night of the rooster. We go back to, to Matthew's account. And Matthew says, 
And while he was still speaking, Matthew 26 and 47, while he was still speaking, behold, Judas, one of the twelve, came up accompanied by a great multitude with swords and clubs. And, and where did these people come from? They didn't come from the bars. They didn't come from the, they didn't come from the, the riffraff. They didn't come, you know, from the, you know, from the alleys and from the riffraff of society. Where did these people come from? This great multitude they, with swords and clubs from the chief priests and the elders of the people. No wonder we see the religious folk coming out in this night and, and, and coming against the, and the other members of the body of Christ who have done nothing simply but to Look at the information that God has been giving us and, 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 and the understanding that he has been giving us as to the days and times that, that we are living in and diligently and, and prayerfully uh, sharing this information with, with the rest of the body of Christ, excited about his, his, his return and what we believe he is saying to us about July 17th. So we shouldn't be surprised as what's coming against us during this night. It's the same thing that happened during the night of the rooster. Wow, I just heard a rooster. I hope you can hear that rooster just crow. Now, Let's go back to, to, to uh, Luke chapter 22. Wow, I just, you know, I just, I can't get uh, beyond, it just beyond, blows my mind that, uh, that the chief priest without Twitter, without, without, without YouTube, without Instagram, that they could get a multitude. Now, you know, a multitude is a lot of folk. Jesus filled the multitude. When, when the Bible says multitude, one time it was 4,000, another time it was over 5,000 plus, plus women and children. So a multitude is a lot of folk. And that you can get a, that many people to get their clubs and their knives to come to arrest Messiah during the night. Wow. Wow. But we see what was behind this as we continue to read in Luke chapter 22. And it's the same spirit that's at work during the night of the rooster. Verse 52. And Jesus said to the chief priests and officers of the temple and elders who had come against him, have you come out with swords and clubs as against a robber? While I was with you daily in the temple, you did not lay hands on me. But this hour and the power of darkness are yours. The night of the rooster is the night when God allows the power of darkness to rule. This is his hour to do things he has never done before. This is he he this is this is the hour. This is the in this night, the night of the rooster is the hour that he came li literally to the earth to indwell and to inhabit a physical man. It was during the night of the rooster. That he came himself to the planet. He didn't send a demon spirit. He didn't send a principality and a, a, didn't send a power. But it was doing this, his hour, the power of darkness. But I want you to know that you can overcome during this hour. And it's not because you can, you're standing so strong or you have been so faithful. Because all the for, for disciples forsook him and fled during this hour. Peter denied him and there was... Nobody who could brag about their accomplishments or their faith in this hour. 
The prayer that Jesus prayed during this night, the night of the rooster, was what got them through the night. And the rallying cry, remember, meet me in Galilee. In John, the 17th chapter, Jesus had already prayed them through the night like he has prayed us through the night. But now I come to thee, John chapter 17, verse 13, and these things I speak in the world that they may have my joy made full of themselves. I have given them thy word and the world has hated them because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I do not ask thee to take them out of the world, but to keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Thy word is truth. Remember, he's praying for them to it, during in this night. Sanctify them in the truth. Thy word is truth. As thou didst send me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And for their sakes, I sanctify myself that they, are, they themselves also may be sanctified in truth. I do not ask in behalf of these alone, but for those also who believe in me through their word. Do you believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ? Do you believe as we took the bread and, and, and took the cup, as we often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we do show the Lord's death until he comes. Are you still believing? Then Jesus was praying for you right here to make it through the night. Verse 22, and as the glory which thou hast given me, I have given to them, that they may be one just as we are one, I in them and thou in me, that they may be perfected in unity, that the world may know that thou didst send me and didst love them, even as thou didst love me. Father, I desire that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, in order that they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou didst love me before the foundation of the world. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we who are alive and remain shall together meet them up and, and, and be with them and, and, and meet them with the Lord in the clouds, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. O righteous Father, although the world has not known you, I have known you, and, and these have known that you sent me, and I have made thy name known to them, and will make it known that the love wherewith thou didst love me may be in them, and I in them. Just heard another rooster crow. Remember, he's going to meet us in Galilee. No matter how dark the night, you can make it through because he prayed you through in the night of the rooster. Maranatha.